Hi everyone, catching you off guard on a Sunday. Uh, no makeup, just rolling with it, Sunday. <laughs> I did a TJ Maxx haul, I did one in-store, part of it's from in-store and part of it's from online, and the online had free shipping. But I caught some crazy good deals here and I figured I'd show them to you, tell you how many sales I've already done, <laughs> or you know, purchases for this Black Friday. Bad girl. And show you the goodies that I found at TJ Maxx in store and online. All right, here we go. Uh, I use Kerastase all the time. It's ring light and it's got the plastic. This is the Reflection um, hair mask. It works great with my blue hair. So this is a repurchase. This on TJ Maxx was, I might have some of the receipts actually. Uh, $34.99. It retails close to $50-ish. Hi, Dylan. Glad you can join. <laughs> I just, you know me, I just pop on, so I throw everybody off. Uh, what else did I find here? This is online also. It comes in their own little plastic bag. This is the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Blush in Grapevine, Rosy Plum. Uh... These were $12.99, $13. These retail probably close to 40 bucks or more online. This is a pretty color. Has the gradient that goes from light to dark. I have the the highlighter ones, like the bigger pans. I just didn't have the blushes. And I was like, for 13 bucks, yeah. <laughs> so there's another one here. This is the Neo Blush in. Pink sand, soft, dusty pink. This one here. I shouldn't have put the other one away so I can show you them side by side. Oh, dummy. The one thing I do like about going live is I can be a little more calm. I don't feel like I have to rush through everything because I know the camera's not going to explode on me. Okay, so here you can see the difference. This one is grapevine and this one is pink sand. So for 13 bucks, and you do get 6.8 grams of product. So that's not bad at all. I'm not gonna bother putting those back in the box because why do I need the box? I don't. I'm gonna do it the other little one. Get that out of the way. Okay. This was a major score. Hi, Missy no Noel. Hey, Rosie. Oh, I'm missing stuff. Hi, hospital food. <laughs> okay, Eve Lam. I might have talked about this brand the other night. And of course, I probably have it upside down because I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. Eve Lam. This one I grabbed online because it wasn't in the store. This is the Daily Protection Plus SPF 50, which you guys know I live for SPF. This online was $25. You want to go have a stroke look up the price of this it's 90 <laughs> retail <laughs> so 90 you know 25 and i i ran out of my alginous sunscreen even though i have tons of sunscreen i'm like anybody i want to try these high-end brands and see if they're any better i've been using the sunscreen because i had actually had it open so i wouldn't lose the little tag on the side and of course it goes on beautifully but it's like i'm not gonna pay 90 dollars for sunscreen not gonna happen this was a, I know I own this, but is there a second one? So this is going to be a Christmas gift for one of my girls. This is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. <laughs> is there two of them or am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. But this at TJ Maxx was only $9. Let's see that there. But this is beautiful. I have it up here on the wall. Yeah. We're not touching anything up there. It's this one here. We have all like shimmer, metallic-y shades around the outside. The center is a highlighter, and then you have your matte shades. This is a beautiful palette. BH Cosmetics makes great palettes, too. Let me put that sleeve back in. Now I just got to figure out which one of my girls I won't give this to. Because <laughs> I know there's a couple of them that don't have it. Okay, let me put this down before I drop it. <laughs> no, we've been having dramas with that. Uh, clean logic detox. I don't care what 
tomato. Purifying charcoal exfoli exfoliating bath gloves. I swear I just bought some and I always laugh when people lose socks. I always lose the gloves. I don't know how I lose the damn gloves. But I always find one random one. I'm like, what in the hell? So one another pair of gloves. And they were in the clearance section for three bucks. <laughs> I was like, so this I bought in store. So the other things must have just been the online only. The Quan, the Eve. Yeah. Okay. Um, now in store, I saw this online too, but I I said, well, let me go check my TJ Maxx. And I almost had a heart attack when this was in store. It was in the plastic case where they got to unlock it, all that crap. This is called Time Retreat Radiance Essence. You do get 150 mils of product or five ounces. This sucker is heavy, like very weighty. This feels expensive. It's one of these where this probably weighs over a pound. <laughs> this sucker is heavy. So I've been using it since I got it. And this again retails for like $95, something like that. And it's funny, I love TJ Maxx. It goes, compare it 42. No, it's, I went right on Eve Lom. It's 95, I believe. And this again was $24.99, so $25. So this I've been using just basically right after I cleaned my face. And I always, you know, give a little shake like you saw me do. I don't know, I'll put makeup on anyway. So. And then it's just, you know, one of those where it drops. So it's a very light liquid. I just rub it between my hands and press it in. Wait, is it worth $95? I have no idea. <laughs> I always keep piling on skincare and piling on. But it smells nice. Like nothing fragrant, you know, it's just... I don't know why I say a clean smell. It just doesn't really have a scent, but it's exciting to have something expensive, you know, in your collection like that. Okay, another one I picked up. The Skin & Company Roma. I've picked up, I think they sent me some PR I had, maybe they were an Ipsy or Boxy Charm. Yeah, they were an Ipsy or Boxy Charm, and then I bought a set, they're sold at Ulta too. This is the Ultra Rich Body Oil with its Umbrium Truffle. This was six dollars, and this says compared to ten, but I think this is pricier than that. This is a um oil spray. Greg hates lotion. It's just God forbid I ask him like, "Honey, can you put the lotion on my back?" And he's like, "Ew!" It was funny. I mean, I, I just usually hand him a latex glove and go, "Just rub the damn thing in," and he'll stick his hand in like a bucket of car grease oil and not even think twice but god forbid i say can i have a little bit of lotion on my back so i do love dry oil sprays because then i can just spray the damn thing myself and not have to worry about it but nice product smells good and for the six bucks i was like perfect uh this was in store also this is the peter thomas roth irish more mud purifying cleansing gel this does come out um black Worked fine, and this was in the clearance section for 10 bucks. And this is usually pretty pricey too. That Peter Thomas Roth's gotta be in the what, 40, $50 range easily. And then in store, I actually grabbed it. I was like, hey, it was funny. I didn't open it until I got to the register. I get to the register, I go, hold up. <laughs> Let's make sure this thing is in one piece. The Too Faced Triple Scoop Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette. That's the box. This was seventeen dollars. It has a little. This the packaging matches. I'll hold this thing open in the corner. I mean, I can see. I haven't photographed anything. It's actually snowing. Yay! <laughs> I don't think I'll be going to work tomorrow. I've already got over an inch of snow, but it does look very pretty. Like a light golden shade, pink shade, which I'm into, and a bronzer or a, a like a rose gold. Oh, those lights are horrific. Like that. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this sucker got. They, they never repost me, so who gives a shit? And I actually like to take the pictures from my own catalog. There's the three there. Pretty. Oh, the pink's really pretty. This would be a great eyeshadow. Where's the camera? For these two, I can even mix those together. Okay, mix the white. 
in pink. I'm glad you got to tone it down a little. Ah, so I think on the camera you can't, on the phone, I don't think you can see the shades as good as the camera. That's the only thing I don't like about filming on this. Because I know the swatches are true to color on the camera. But this has been fun all week. I think I only missed Thanksgiving and I was like, yeah, everybody's in a turkey coma. Nobody wants to listen to my shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that is the latest TJ Maxx haul online and in store. But wow, whenever I saw this online, I was just like, wow, that's a really good price. Because that's when I start price checking. And my face feels nice and... I'm definitely going to be using the sunscreen. But I to make sure I brought all this back down to show it. I can leave the makeup down here. Actually, no, i got to photograph those. And the Kara Styles, since I use it anyway. I was like, and they have sent me PR in the past, but I still buy their products. And then the little gloves. Okay. This out of the way. Oh, I'm just in the... Comfy sweatshirts and eh. I'm sure I missed something here. Wait a minute. Okay, so there is two okay palettes. I know I saw the mini ones. It's like the astrological signs every month. Hi Cindy. Hi Cheryl. I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls too. I mean, you do find some great finds. Like, I would never expect to see Eve Lom and TJ Maxx. It was like, what? Eve Lom? Are you shitting me? I mean, there's just brands I know that it's like, oh, I can never try that. Why am I not centered? There we go. I'll push it back a little. There we go. Uh, what else? I'm tired. Just one of those days. Oh, funny. Don't tell crap. These are the orders I've done so far. Huda Beauty, Beauty Bar Baby, Vanessa's Vanity, Sydney Grace, Natasha Denona, Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty has a hell of a sale going. Lipsticks are like $6.50. They're blowing out all their lippies, and I guess they're going to go full on vegan. I'm thinking, I thought you already were. I thought your lipsticks were edible. <laughs> so I'm like, but holy shit, for the prices they're blowing out the Bite, you might want to check out the Bite Beauty site. They might have the same price on Sephora, too. Uh, cover effects, which I have over here to show you. This actually came in really quick. Coastal Scents. Ipsy. I only grabbed, I think, one thing. It was the Black Friday mystery bag. It was like 14 bucks, so I grabbed it. Uh, Gimme Glow Cosmetics. Suva Beauty. Dominique Cosmetics. Stelazi. And last night, I placed one with um, Indie Brand I haven't tried, and I've been watching them for a while. I don't know why the hell I've never ordered. It's just one of those where, you know, I get so wrapped up. Um, Bitter Lace Beauty. They're out of Las Vegas. And I'm like, well, I used to live in Las Vegas, so that's shopping small and local. Because I used to be, you know, I was considered a local. I lived there for eight years, something like that. But let me show you what I picked up from uh, Cover Effects. I'll pull the other ones too. Hold on. Hold on. I bought, now I own them all. Where are they? Okay. Ah. Cover effects had 30% off, I want to say. And these palettes, the blush, monochromatic blush duos, the matte and the shimmer sides. Uh, Sweet Mulberry. I actually did a get ready with me with this. Using it as eyeshadow. I used like that on the lid, that in the crease. I used it as the blush, as the highlighter. So this is the one, these are the ones I already own. So this is Sweet Mulberry. Beautiful shade. And you do get um 14 grams of product in here. So that's like a little over well, 14 and a half. A little over seven grams per pan, which is a ton of product. This is spiced cinnamon. And the gorgeous one. I won't be able to swatch the new ones because, like I said, I gotta photograph everything. And this is suntan bronze, and my fingernail gouged into it when I had the big claws on. And so, don't mind that. <laughs> Little that net. There's me with the big pointy claws on, like God. And then this one is Mojave mauve. Beautiful one. 
Okay. Now I'll show you the one that I just bought. You want to say this? Oh, yeah, they don't have the prices, but the stuff was 30% off. Oh boy, Brenda has to, Brenda has to open boxes. This will be fun. All right. Those four out of the way so we don't drop them. I need. Instead of the nails, I try to stick scissors down the side of the box. And then flip it like that. The leaves are on the nails. All right. Uh, Pink Dahlia. Here. It. Yeah, this looks much lighter on here. It's a little deeper. I left them. So I ripped those off. But it is very pretty. Very pretty. Soft peach. Eh, that's coming off kind of true to color. It is a very light peachy shade. Okay, it's just the thing on the side. I wrecked too many nails doing it the other way. Uh, warm honey. Here's one here. This is on a more of a medium peach. Yeah, it's looking pretty decent on there. Pretty, pretty. I can't wait to photograph all these. And then I picked up the other bronzer too because I was like, why not? <laughs> Want them all? Here's the ones you just say. And then this is the lighter of the two bronzers, I believe. Yes. I had bought in the deeper one first because that's what was available. Okay, see? Oh, damn, on here they almost look the same. This is suntan bronze. And this is sun-kissed bronze. So this is the deeper one. Oh, now you can see it a little better. Yeah, you can see this one's a deeper shade. This is richer. But they're kind of close, bronzer-wise. Kind of close. We'll play with all those eventually. I'll just do a full-on um, swatch video. Love them. Let me put these down here because I'm not going to break them either. Okay. Ah. I'm sore today. Keep doing my weirdo exercises. All right, we're in this here. Cheryl, you were shocked when you started finding ABH has been in there for a while. All the highlighter palettes and all that, that's been in there for a while. And I'm, I laugh going, well, why do they still try to sell them for full price if the stuff's in TJ Maxx? <laughs> Maybe they think we won't figure it out. Yeah, so I'm trying to stay off the computer because I know that Cyber Monday is coming tomorrow. The emails just keep ripping in constantly. Just constantly. I mean, Ulta, how many do they send in a day? Oh, BoxyCharm, I finally got off the friggin' wait list for the, what is it, the premium box? Oh, this morning I'm looking at emails. Email came through at like 2.50 in the morning that you're premium now. Well, after five years and after fighting with them via email and telling them, you know, why am I not on this? I've been with you five years since the beginning. How did I automatically not get the premium? And then they sent me a survey of, well, how'd you like our service? And I gave it the lowest rating, and I said, why? And all of a sudden, I'm off the list. So I was like, well, hopefully that had something to do with it, but more money to spend. <laughs> and then two hours later, I got charged for the premium. I was like, okay, so I guess that's November. What month is it? December? How many damn boxes am I going to get this month? It boxy three. You get the regular, the premium, and the, isn't it the big one this month, too? I don't know. I get so many of these freaking boxes. 
Anybody catch any good sales that I missed? Wow, I can't believe how much this hair color is holding up. This is still just that shampoo. I mean, I get it, I overdid it, but I washed my hair again today and it's still pretty damn vibrant. I mean, the roots are starting to fade, but even those still don't look that bad. Yeah, I guess you should only leave it on the three to five minutes and here's me leaving it on for an hour. <laughs> so next time I'm just gonna leave it on, even the next time I try to, you know, vibrant this up again, I'm just gonna use the Lime Crime Conditioner. Because at least the only good thing is I usually take, you know, selfies every morning to put the makeup for the get ready with me. So I can almost track how my hair looks because I only take the pictures outside. I mean, I'll jump out in the middle of rain and I'm like, <laughs> click in the middle of the rain. Sometimes I have to get in the truck or in the car, but other than that, it's like, no. Nope. So it's a good way for me to watch my hair progression as it goes to say like, oh, it's looking really busted. <laughs> like it went from vibrant here to, ooh, looking bad. <sighs> My lips are. I have like 500 lippies in front of me. I just want my Elizabeth Arden. Where is it? I can never find what the hell I'm looking for. Oh, I put it in front of me so I don't. These are those Elizabeth Arden things. I go through these like crazy. I just blew through another one upstairs. I think I saw something pop, but I can't see. My current favorite eye palette, I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I use something new literally every day. I have my favorite shadows, period, are Viseart. But I love all my indies. There's, there's the quality nowadays is just so different than, say, when I was in high school in the 80s. Things like that of, wow. You young ones don't know how good you have it with the makeup that's available to you today because we had the basics back in the day, like Maybelline, L'Oreal, Latin Wild, Cover Girl, and the quality was, you just dealt with it. Like, we didn't have, I, I especially didn't have even then, tons of makeup brushes, all these crazy techniques. You were basically using that freaking little sponge that came in there and putting on your makeup and Times have changed immensely, but now it's much more fun. <laughs> I like having all this available, all the funness. It's just, works for me. Anything else I can show you guys? Yeah, so I, what's that, up to 13 orders? Oh my God. Thirteen. But I didn't, the, I, the Bitter Lace, I did a big order. It was over $100. But I basically bought a lot of stuff out of the clearance section. Plus they were in their sale of, they had a highlighter bundle for like $32. So I was like, oh, screw it, just give me the bundle. Because even the shades, like, that's where I like when I got a bundle. It's like, I may want four of the shades, but two of the shades I know two of my other girlfriends are like. So they, I just give them to them. Like I said, a lot of golds I don't tend to do. I have a few that are very pretty, but golds to me just, I'd rather play with the purples and the pinks and, you know, the funness. Anything else over here hiding? Yeah, this that we were talking playing with the other night. I just think I really got a bad one. These are I actually I actually read about it. They're all supposed to be kind of cream shadows, so shouldn't they have been creamy? These things were dry and I don't know. I think it's down on Macy's for like five bucks. <laughs> like it's cheaper by the minute. And but any makeup is hitting us. Oh, that's some other shit I can show you. I have the rest of the hall upstairs. Juvia's place. I've been trying forever to find something that matches me. You do her shade finder, whether it's on her site or on, um, like Ulta. I still can't get one that completely matches me. I did get the, um, the huge bundle thing for like 90 bucks that's upstairs i just had the foundations down here because i did try this one yesterday this is the um i am magic velvety matte foundation uh I, 
it actually the shade actually worked out so i'm gonna go with it this is the shade giza in 540 i mean it is weird that you can't see the color of it or anything on here a little goes a long way i found out like you really don't need a lot to me this is still a little bit yellow for me but once i actually got it blended in you can even see it, not that I match my face to my arm, because I don't really match to my neck. And once it settled in, it, it looked fine. So I was just confused when I was putting it on, because I'm like, you can see the difference of like how yellow it looked. And I was like, I have red undertone, so I usually want a red or a pink base for my foundations. But the yellow covers red also. So some of my foundations do have the yellow tinge to them. I have another one upstairs that I've got to take back because it's way too dark. So when she has her sale going on too. So I picked up, so, so I figured since I had Giza 540, I figured I'd pick up Tangier 520. I think Greg walked in the bathroom when I was putting this on to just like, because I'll just run it down my face. He goes, holy shit, you're yellow as hell. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know what's happening. But this is so much more yellow. It is, oof. Yeah, this was a big no. <laughs> Greg was sitting there cracking up going, babe. I'm like, yeah, honey, I know. It might match one of my girlfriends. I'm not sure. But I bought them all on the sale, so I'm really not... You know, worried about it. I didn't pay the twenty dollars for them or anything like that. I could probably show you on this wet wipe here. All right, let me do this. Let's fold this sucker in half. So the deeper one is the what the hell is it called? Tangier, and then the lighter one is Giza. And yeah, but a little did go a long way. I, I don't think I needed a lot. I just like dotted it around and it was drying quickly. I was like, holy shit. I was like, all right. So I blended it in quickly. And you can see this is the mixture of the two, which I might be able to be able to mix the two and see what happens. I should do that before I go try to bring it back. I hate mixing foundations, but if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. So in the meantime, she did the sale on these stick things, which is the shade stick. I'm gonna stick up my finger. I'm gonna do this finger too, probably over my nail. And that. Chunked out a piece of my skin there. That was interesting. So I said, all right, <laughs> let's try these fucking things. I haven't tried this on my face yet, but I need to. Well, I only did the, you know, just to see if it matches. You might hear the washer or dryer go off in a minute too. This is the multi-purpose foundation stick. So it does say contour conceal correct. And I'm like, well, is it a concealer or is it a foundation? So I believe it's a foundation, but in stick form. So this is Belize. And these again are like yellow undertones. I'm like, Hey, kitty cat, what the hell are you doing over there? Oh, come up here, just knock over. Knock over. Hold on. <laughs> Shala. Damn crap. Uh, then we have Nicaragua, which is really light. <laughs> that might be a Veronica shade. <laughs> and then Luxor. Which is even lighter. These are so light. And then the only thing that's kind of creeping me out on these, but it, they don't smell or anything, so it's fine. I'm just trying to roll these all up. Oh, see, this is where the camera comes in. Can you see how it looks jacked up looking? Like the marbling. Like that one you can see. It shouldn't affect the product in any way. Like I said, there's 
no odd scent, anything like that. It's just something probably with the way it pours. I can guess I can try to swatch this. Okay, so we got Luxor. These are very creamy. I am gonna have to try to put this on my face. Then we have Nicaragua. That might be of the Veronica shade. It's very, very light. Veronica, if you see this, let me know if you want to try it. And then Belize should be my shade. There. So this should be my shade, Belize. <laughs> this is like white as all. It's Nicaragua. What the hell's the other one? Luxor. So even Luxor, see, it's a little more pink. I don't know. But I might have to mix it with this. I don't know. I hate mixing freaking products. But yeah, the, this is... <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> now, Gina's a little fairer than me. That No, I don't think she's that fair, though. Veronica's like the porcelain princess. And Sarah is, too, actually. Sarah is very um, light. So that's the Juvia's, but I got the rest of the order to show you. I got, I got to photograph everything, and then I'll have a ton of snow to photograph in. Photographing in the snow is one of my favorites, because it does give you a beautiful white background. Not that I care about the white background, because I do like shooting in the mirror where you get the sky and everything, or on my rocks. But in the snow, it just some of the products look better in the snow. It's having fun. Okay, what else I got here? BH Cosmetics, they're fine. They're worth it. I have no makeup on all the time on here. Right, Cheryl was in high school in the mid to late 90s. Okay, I was buying Urban Decay when they first came out. I would have probably have been in my 20s. Really, mid 20s, early 20s. Hey, Andrea. I don't know if you missed anything. Hello, Carrie. Oh, oh. what's happening? Okay. I'm probably one of the only beauty bloggers that's not sitting here with my hair perfect and some slinky ass outfit on and looking glam and all. I ain't got time for that. Sunday, skincare day. Let your face breathe. I don't put on makeup on a Sunday unless I have to, and I don't have to. I'll leave the house without makeup anytime. I'm comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> and you gotta figure out I'm on here with no makeup every morning. Don't get ready with me. I came on the other night, I think I had no makeup on. I might have not, I probably had my contacts in. I was just didn't feel like putting contacts up. So I just pulled the glasses. I have no shame. <laughs> I will come on here with no makeup, full makeup. Mm -mm. Always just keeping it real. Any other excitement going on? Any sales tomorrow I need to know about? I'm like scared to open email. I'm just, I have all this and I'm still buying more. <laughs> what am I on? But then I'm like, okay, put this on this credit card, do this one on PayPal, do this one I so I'm like, so I won't see it all at once hit and go, ugh. Just spread the spread the wealth around. Christ, I got us all house. <laughs> I need to pay these bills off. And I bought the freaking coat that Greg and I were fighting about. <laughs> With the spirit hoods. He was breaking my ass so bad, he's like, buy the damn coat. I'm like, sweetie. I don't really need the coat. It coats only winter, and, and yeah, it's beautiful, but I, I, I'd rather have the sunglasses. Buy the coat. So then I had, then I'm trying to measure myself and going between the sizes, and I'm like, I, to me, I'm always medium or large. So I'm like, oh my god. So I even had him measure me just to make sure, like the shoulder width, and it'll probably be a little long on my arms, but I don't care. It's still a coat and. But I got the one without the hood. So it's just the gray wolf fox with the spirit hood. I ended up getting the size medium. I said, I'd rather go bigger according to their measurements. Because what if I have like a thick sweater on or something? And 
I want to be able to move. But it was a great deal at $169. I mean, you could pay that for any kind of coat. But I know that sucker is going to keep me warm. And then I figured since it's the kind of neutral coat, I already have the spirit hood that would technically match it because I know I have the gray wolf. But then if you saw Greg come down, he had the Care Bear ones. And that's where I go, I don't really need the coat with the hood because I have at least, how many of the hoods? Eight? Six to eight? Something like that. That I'd rather just rock a different hood with the coat. I just have fun with it. I'm like a total, like Connecticut, yeah, they're known for like snobby people and all that. And the town I work in is known to be like a snobby town. <laughs> they see this walking around. I'm just like, mm-hmm, bring it. Not one of them says damn word. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Saw something pop up here. Oh, oh thank you, Carrie. Oh, you like the lime prime right on yeah it's great great hair dye and even that the one i've done using this is that punky color but i mean it's intense this stuff is lasting i mean i do use good hair care products like cure stars and things like that but it's still like wow and even because gina she hasn't seen me in probably a week i haven't seen her i still haven't seen her Christ, I haven't seen her since before Thanksgiving. She was in Florida. Now she's back. I'm not going to work tomorrow, guaranteed. <laughs> this snowstorm is going on. But I'm ready. I know how to plow. I got the plow truck ready to go. And I'm just, I turned my alarm off even for tomorrow morning. I go, I'm going to wait. I would usually wake up anyway. But you just always like to have your alarm, you know, set. And I'm not going to set an alarm. I'm going to open the damn, you know, look outside. I'll buy a foot of snow, if not more. Because I'm a thousand feet above sea level. I'm literally on a mountain. So I let my ears pop going down the hill. And then when I come back up home, they pop. So every day that I leave the house and go up and down the hill, my ears pop. I have to, you know, pop them to get them to hear again. So I definitely get snow up on the mountain. Like I said, I can get a foot of snow up here. My mom lives one town over, probably 10 minutes from me, 10, 15 minutes if that. She can have three inches. It's insane just from the elevation and even driving down the mountain, I can see where the snow line is. Well, we'll get pounded up here. And then as you're driving down, there's less and less and less and it's crazy. I like living on the mountain. It's quiet. Except for when the neighbor's dogs are losing their minds. Not my fun neighbors, the couple neighbors down. <laughs> Your credit cards need to be stolen too, so do mine. And I watch your damn credit cards if you can online. It always seems like every holiday season, that's when these little asshole hackers, and they always hack me on a Sunday. And I always usually check my bank account on Monday to go, is there any fucking charges in here? And it's the funniest thing of any bank can go through my statements and go, they can see, I don't buy camping equipment, I don't camp, video games, all this crap. And it's usually, you know, once they steal your credit cards all over the state, that they're or all over the country usually. And I just bust their ass going, if you don't see it, it's makeup, Ulta, Sephora. Well, not Sephora because they have their own credit card. But you know what I mean? I do a lot of makeup. So I've been hacked before. Once every couple of years it happens. But it, luckily, I usually catch it. And even today, I went on and checked my Sephora card. I actually have the Sephora credit card because you gain points or money. Like I have probably $20 in credits sitting on there. Just to make sure because I know I've used it a few times over the you know shopping and i just popped in checked to go okay are these charges right because if i can catch it early enough that's when you can then just call up the bank and go uh-uh ah -uh. that is not me because some of these places you know they can wipe you out one of them wiped out my check my checking account one time but thank god you know the bank was cool about it and they could see oh no and because all of a sudden you go to use your debit card and it's like what do you mean i have no money in there <laughs> I know I have, you know, such a amount of money in there. And then that shocks the shit out of you because then bills can start bouncing that are out, anything like that. You know, it's an automatic, you know, takeout. So it's, just watch it. And thank God for the online with that of just be able to check it and make sure, are there any unauthorized charges? But my credit card is usually pretty good. If something started going berserk on it, they would alert me. Because even when I go to New York, God forbid if I forget to call the credit card company and go, hey, I'm going to be in New York this day to this day at a makeup show. 
There's going to be charges from possibly anywhere in this world. Let them go through. And sometimes, even though I've told them, they'll see it and they'll, I'll still get a text right there while I'm at the booth going, hey, are you trying to charge this? This is a company out of England. And it's like, yes, I told you to let the fucking charges go through until unless I tell you they're not right. But at least some of them try to really watch our safety, which is good. Because these hackers, they can just destroy your lives. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Stuff's popping here. I can't see. Good girl, Samantha. <laughs> yeah, that identity theft is nuts. No, I mean, if my orders weren't, the Huda, I mean, it seemed big because it was like 200, but a perfume alone cost me 60. But I got a lot of stuff from them. Beauty Bar Baby, I did good. Vanessa's Vanity, the Sydney Grace, the Coastal Scents, I just, there's Hot Pots, and I bought every other eyeshadow palette I don't think I had in there. It was just like, oh, palette, 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 palette. They were like $2.50 or something. It was insane. They were so cheap. I was just like, shit, just give me them. Whatever one, you know, like I said, my girlfriend, you never have to buy makeup. <laughs> the Ipsy thing, the Gimme Glow. Suva, I grabbed the shadow bundle with the 20 eyeshadows for $30, I want to say. And then I bought a uh, lippy because I had a couple of them expire on me. So I bought one. And I figured if I end up any double shadows, that's right, I choose you give them to Gina. But I already, because I already have a good amount of Suva. The Dominique, I picked up the Celestial Thunderstorm. It's one of those. The the one that wasn't in the Boxy Charm that's on our site. I grabbed that palette plus a lippy. Uh, Stelazi, I grabbed two eyeshadow palettes. They were having a good deal. They were both $39 a piece. And they were doing either 40 or 50% off. So I got the one that Jordan Liberty did. And then another one. And by the time of the discount and everything, it was still like 40 bucks for two palettes. So it was like perfect and free shipping. So that worked out well. But Jordan Liberty, Jordan Liberty, I, I possibly have met him. I can't, you know, because I go to a lot of these shows. I don't fangirl any of that. <laughs> I meet a lot of these people, but he does beautiful makeup. He's a great makeup artist and he did the collab with Stelazi. So I was like, oh, I've been watching the palette for a while. It's pretty. And Stelazi makes great shadows too. So I was like, what the hell? Let's grab it. And then the Bitter Lace Beauty will be my new indie brand. And we'll have to make a sticker for them and put them in here. But we'll probably just use them first without the sticker. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably going to be no get ready with me tomorrow. Unless well, I can glam up to go snow plowing. <laughs> if, there, if I can figure out how to put this damn thing in the car, I have you guys snow plowing with me. It'll be fun. There's got to be a way. I'd have to buy one of those mount things to shove to the dashboard, I'm sure. You guys be laughing. Me and the freaking huge truck plowing snow. It is fun, though. All right. Well, how are we doing here? 43 minutes. Oh, how are we doing? Carry you buy anything you want, darling. Do you want to buy... The entire color pop collection, you go, girl. Yeah, I try to set a budget and that goes right out the window. <laughs> Sometimes I could do pretty good with it. But some of these sales you just can't pass up. It's like, oh, it's an addiction. Oh, I'm addicted to all these pretty sparkly things. Beauty, baby. Feed them? Yes. <laughs> oh, my face. Oh, that skincare is nice. My skin just feels so soft. I'm doing all kinds of face masks. I've just been taking it easy this weekend. Where'd you go? Wanna come over? Hey. She's like, nope, I'm going up tall so you can't grab me. Damn cat knows I'm short. <laughs> Let me pop it open. I agree, Carrie. Everyone can buy whatever they want. I bought their eyeliners recently just to 
put them against the test for the water line and they didn't work. What anyone buys, that's your business. What I buy is my business. I don't tell anybody what to buy and I don't expect anybody to tell me what to buy. <laughs> and it's just like, whether it's hair care, makeup, skin care, clothes, all personal preference. Everyone has their own taste and style and whether you want to go neutrals or bold or whatever you want to do. I don't knock anybody for buying anything, you know? Save money. Shit, everything is expensive as hell. It's crazy. I'm supposed to take the car in for a recall on Tuesday, but the store might still be going, so I think I'm going to cancel that tomorrow. They got the part in to do with some canister. I think I might cancel that because I don't even know if I'll be going to work on Tuesday. <laughs> they make it like the storm's going to be crazy, but I don't trust the weather people. They say two inches, I get two feet. They say two feet, I get two inches. <laughs> <laughs> best job ever they can literally be wrong about everything and they still make bank should have been a meteorologist <laughs> i mean how just how fun would it be a weather person oh here it's gonna be warm and sunny got some rain <laughs> and if you're wrong nobody gets fired ah <laughs> uh, it's fucking cold out it's less than 25 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. And it's windy and snowing, sleeting, hailing. It's like doing everything out there. It's just like a shit show. But see, I might even later tonight, I'm the psychotic one who say it starts building up pretty quick. I already have like my shovels at the top of the stairs and I even got one of those little snowblower things. It's like, it's not an electric cord, but it's like a foot wide, very light, you know, so I don't bust my shoulders up with like the big snowblower thing and all that shit but what's it take to go out with the shovel for five minutes and just get it off the stairs and clear the sidewalk quickly you know just enough to keep it keep it down but at the same time the snow plowing and shit is weird because if it's gonna get icy if you clear all the snow off now all that ice ends up on the pavement and that's how you end up with black ice and oh trust me i've walked out the front door and not seen it and just about to get shut her down the whole stair where I just like gripped onto the railing. It's a you know, raw iron railing and hold on for dear life as my feet are just like something out of a cartoon going, shit, I am going to break my ass on my, you know, under concrete stairs. <laughs> That's why I don't even, it's, you know, I'm not going to go to work if the roads are bad. My life is worth more than going to work. I get, I'm salary, so that really don't matter. There's no fucking way. I'm wrecking my car, or my truck. And it's always some grandma who's like 100 years old, has no freaking reason to be on the road of what are you doing out, lady? You know, there's just, and they're the ones spinning out and people can't drive in Connecticut worth a shit anyway. But I was laughing with Greg yesterday. He goes, I hate the way everybody drives here. I said, babe, I lived across this entire country. They suck everywhere. <laughs> people just can't drive worth a shit. <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, I missed that Hush site too, but now isn't it something else? Isn't it a different brand? I think it changed names. Well, that's cold for Cali. <laughs> 60 degrees, hell yeah. Yeah, Samantha, I mean, that's why it's like kids come first. The holidays are for the kids, not adults. And that's why even Gina and I are just like, got a list going. And if I, you know, I already know my list, I've got on her ass yesterday, like, I need your damn list, because I'm the one who does this for a living, basically, of trolling sites to see what the hell's on sale. Because we're like, why should we pay full price? We might just seriously wait till, unless I see something to go, I don't really think that's going to go any lower, you know, because once you play these games for the past couple of years, you start figuring out if it's going to go on sale or not. And to go, well, should I wait? And it's not like, if it doesn't go on sale, oh my God, I missed out on a tart palette. I got 500 tart palettes. <laughs> don't need another tart palette. It's just that, you know, you want it. You don't need it. It's a want. It's not a need. So we're going to see what we can get. Uh, we are definitely going to get a perfume because we always buy each other a perfume anyway. So we'll definitely figure that out. And even then, we're the types of, we'll go on fragrance.com, fragrance.net, you know, all those fragrance ones plus Macy's and we price check 
we play the game. But Macy's, you can get some pretty damn good deals on all these perfumes. Hey, that's where I still have boxes of them over there that I haven't even opened. That they were like 25 bucks going, oh, this retails for $192. It's $25 I'm buying. And I've kept them in the boxes in case I need a last minute gift. <laughs> I can always just give one away. That's the time you need to crack sometimes. And you go, let me just get all these perfumes and not even open them. <laughs> but I do need to bring up my Michael Buble because I'm running low on that one. Michael Buble, I use his um, by invitation. Now, I know you don't think I'm crazy. I don't wear it. Well, I, I will spray it on myself at night. It's a very, it's a scent that makes me very calm. And I spray it on my pillows and just like, you know, around the bed real quick. Greg drives him nuts. <laughs> but I try to do it before he comes in. And just the scent of it, I don't know what it is. I still haven't figured out the fragrance or the scent note that is calming. Love it though. But I've, I can't, it's hard to find, but when I get on the fragrance.com or whatever those, whatever they got in stock, I have three, four of them and just load up. Because even recently they did one, well not recently, eh, six months ago or so. I think it was like QVC. They had two bottles. There was the by invitation and then another one. And it was a bundle deal and it was still a great bundle deal. So I was like, okay, grab it. <laughs> Why not? But again, that, that beauty deals BFF. She's my downfall <laughs> because I see all the sales. I mean, those girls bust their ass doing that. If you just even took your own time to go on every website, or get the email and then to put all the pictures and make a newsletter and all that. It's a lot of work, a ton of work. Because before Beauty Deals BFF, there was a site Nouveau Cheap. I still to this day have no idea what happened to her. Uh, she had her one last post of something with her mom in the hospital and we never heard from her again. And we all kept leaving messages of, are you okay? Is everything okay? And she would bust her ass. And now Beauty Deals BFF, they've like taken over that. I mean, because I would be sitting in bed on a Sunday with, you know, the Walgreens flyer, the Rite Aid flyer, the CVS flyer, and sitting there with a notepad and going, okay, who's got what this week? Who's got the better deal? It's a lot of work. Those girls bust their ass. So I do try to use even their affiliate links whenever I can. Especially if I'm on the computer, I'll just go over to Beauty Deals BFF. Even if I'm on Instagram, you know, you just go on the Instagram page. I can go right through there and make them some money. They bust their ass. They deserve to have the money for finding us all the deals and all these sales. But at the same time, she's killing my wallet. <laughs> I love them because it takes the work out of me doing it and looking up all that stuff. That's a lot of work. I love Makeup Revolution. I've heard of that Focalure. I hope that's how you say it. The Shop Hush was pretty decent. There, I got some good palettes out of there. I almost bought that whole damn thing too if, um, when they were going out of business. Yeah, oh my God, you guys are going to town over here. CC Color Cosmetics is like, okay. I need to be banned from Makeup Revolution too. I should be on their damn PR list with the amount of stuff I bought from them. I can't believe they've never put me on PR. That's mind blowing. And they have all those cute little palettes now where it's like little bears. Do you guys see the new ones? Little bear, they, and then there's the puppy palette where there's the little dogs on it. That one looks cute. But even they pump out stuff constantly which okay but i have no problem with their quality but oh my god i felt so bad so i put one of the palettes up <clears throat> i posted it uh, within the week or so and somebody puts like oh this is like a huda beauty dupe or something wherever the hell it was and i was like no this palette came out you know two months before and i kind of like chewed the person out like, I am so fucking sick of everybody just going, Makeup Revolution just dupes everything. No, they don't. And so I put in there, they, they don't just do dupes. I was kind of a bitch in a nice way. <laughs> and she wrote back, oh, I, I know, I'm sorry. And I was like, oh, shit. And I feel bad, but sometimes you just catch me. And I'm like, what the fuck? They do not just do dupes. They, in the beginning, they were doing a lot of dupes. Why shouldn't they? 
but now they make their own palettes and they'll put a palette on somebody goes, well, that looks like this. No, it doesn't. This beauty community is batshit crazy. I don't know what's going on. What's going on with the, um, what the hell are they called? The drama channels. Are the drama channels all fighting? I keep seeing all this shit in my feed and I'm just like, it's Rich Lux canceled, and then Nick Schneider's got like some apology video, and he's got an apology. I go, I don't fucking care. These people are were they infighting? Rich did something. I don't know. Jen Loves Reviews was getting a lot of crap. I'm like, I saw that on Twitter. I'm like, she seems like a really nice girl. What the hell did she do? I don't know. But that whole community, I'm like, the drama community <laughs> is reporting on the drama community from what I can figure out. Because I think I just watched Sanders Kennedy's video about the Jeffrey Star, and I don't know, it's like Jeffrey dropped his highlighter after Jacqueline's, and it's like, again, these makeup launches are months in advance, if not a year or more planned. I mean, I don't think he did her highlighter review, so I don't think that was bad of him if he had his five year anniversary or whatever the hell it was. I did not buy those highlighters, by the way. Even I'm not buying a $50 highlighter for one highlighter that only has eight grams of product in it. It actually looked really chunky. It was weird, just the texture of it. I want to see real people get it. Well, someone we trust. <laughs> but it was pretty blinding, but oh my gimme glows, any of these, spritz it with water or, you know, the setting spray, you glow to the damn moon. But of course, I mean, I get it. Jeffrey's going to pump his own product. Why wouldn't he? It's the it's pure pigment, no filler and all that. Sure, dude, whatever. Whatever. He gets to play his own game. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go upstairs and chill out. Check on the animals. Have a cup of tea. See how much snow I've got. <laughs> well, see, we did about an hour. I got to flip over the laundry anyway. Oh. Damn it. Ocalon was pretty decent too. Damn it. Short Shannon Shortcake is on it. He should be on it. Okay, so I am right. Is the drama channel okay? <laughs> Yeah, okay, I thought I was, like, losing my mind when I, you see your YouTube feed, I get the most random shit in there. The other day was one about a chipmunk. And all I saw was the chipmunk with his fat little cheeks, the next thing I just can't help it, I'm clicking on the damn video. I watch this little, I think the guy was in Japan or China or wherever the hell he was, with a little tray of, you know, sunflower seeds and all this, and the little chipmunk would come running over to him, he'd go every day. And it was really cool, because you were getting a, I fed chipmunks before when I was a kid, but you're not really paying attention as a kid. And the guy had really good close-ups. I mean, you'd see this little guy with his little hand shoving those fucking peanuts in his mouth. <laughs> and then you just kept watching his cheeks get bigger and bigger. It was so cute. And then he just ran off. So you watch one video like that with a freaking chipmunk. Now my feed's going to be loaded with damn chipmunk videos. <laughs> that YouTube's weird. Or this YouTube's weird with that. But I am. I'm seeing a lot of fighting, it seems like, with the drama channels. And I'm like, I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Nothing at all. So are they reporting on themselves, I guess, or their friends? <laughs> Whatever. Very odd. Very odd. All right. Well, ladies, everyone, you have a fabulous night. I'm going to see how much snow I got. Maybe I'll be live tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a live. Get ready with me to snowplow. I can put on a glam face and snowplow. <laughs> Why not? Did we pick a name last time? Where's my jar? Okay, we're going to pick a name. For those of you who don't know, I do get raised with me like four days a week. I've put a bunch of, there's a ton of them in here. These are all indie brands I have in my collection. There's probably over 100 in here. We've already done a good little stack of them. And then typically I forget at the end of the video. I'm usually rushing. So let's just pick one and we'll see what, if I do get raised with me tomorrow. What we're gonna play with. All right, what do we got here? You guys can play see it before I can. <laughs> Juvia's place. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I can do 
that. <laughs> well, if anything, we can play with the new foundation stick thing. All right, we can do Juvia's. I have plenty of her palettes. I have all the palettes upstairs. If I need to photograph them, but we'll see on that. But I have a ton of her palettes over here. So I think I'll have them all by now because I just picked up the corals and she has so many palettes too. I can't keep up. I know one of them was the coral palette and that looks so much better in person than it does on any of the pictures online. When I opened it up, I said, holy shit, this looks nice. Okay, so we'll see. Maybe we'll play with Juvia's tomorrow. If not, it'll be whenever the hell I go back to work. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Love y'all. Everybody be safe. If you're stuck in this shit storm, snow, rain, whatever the hell's going on out there, don't drive if you don't have to. Just it's, your life is worth so much more than anything. Just always be safe. And if you guys, if you like these live videos, I do. Because I feel like I could just be more relaxed. I don't have to rush. Like I said, the camera only gives me 20 minutes. So we can do more of these live ones because they are fun. Love you, Carrie. <laughs> There's got to be a way, though, I could somehow... See, I know not all of you have Instagram, Twitter, and all the social media. Because like I said, I just got to pop on here. It's like, oh, I'm on. Nobody knows I'm doing this. I don't know if those little, like that, I did one the other day with the Instagram. No, what I put it on Twitter. And I think I put it on YouTube here. I was figured that out for the first time. I had like a poll. I said, oh, should we do the makeup wall or the lashes? But even at that point, I'd only given maybe two hours notice, if that. So that was my fault. So if anything, there's got to be a way where I can give notice more. Even like because every day is different. I never know what the hell is going to go on. I'll plan to do something tomorrow and it ain't going to happen. I don't know. We'll just roll with it. I'll try to put that little thing in if you have that notification thing. I don't know if that works. I have no idea if people even get notified. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lucky I can do this at all. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right. And hopefully if the sun actually pops out and I get some good light, Get my pictures done, and then we can play and do swatches. Because I just want to get pictures, especially of the new cover effects. They're so freaking pretty. All right, ladies. Yeah, see, I never know on that bell. Sometimes I get notified on people, and sometimes I don't either. And it's like, how the hell did I miss this? It's weird. It's always updating something. Crazy. All right, well, everyone, you all have a fabulous night. And uh, like I said, be safe, and we will play more soon. I've got... Plenty of shit coming after the 13 or 14 orders. So <laughs> gonna have a lot of hauling going on. That's a good time to go live. If I'm, I'm not gonna wait for all the orders because I just literally showed you the cover of facts. But maybe I'll go live for the haul videos, especially if I'll try to shoot the photographs, watches and things like that. Worst comes to worst, I can figure I can always set up the camera next to this and double film at the same time. Just so maybe the swatches, if people just want to see the swatches and not have me just shooting the shit here like a crazy woman. <laughs> all right. I will see y'all soon. I will shut the fuck up now. All right. Love y'all. Have a fabulous night. Be safe. Bye.